The wooden spear is the most devastating weapon and most iconic, but the protector spear just brings it to legendary status. Let me show you how to use the two only Frostborn spears in the game. Weapon! 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 Okay, maybe it's not the most ultimate weapon of all time, but the wooden spear is nowhere as short as the most successful and useful weapon in the game. As a standard with no bonuses or boost at all, you're doing a sneak damage of 36 damage, followed up with a 12 standard. And as a sorcerer, you'll be getting a crazy 44 damage and start one hitting things in the zone, followed up with going against any type of monster. It does 15 as a follow up. These items on the map are as simple as going to any Pacific zone and picking up two wood, two stone if you have no weapon. Some spears with buffs. So the first buff would be the mushroom stew thing. Standard damage being obviously 15, but with the food eaten, it goes to 16. Just one extra increase buff. It's 40 damage completely, which is great. Just pop the demon potion, which you can do while sneaking. Get an extra 4 damage instead of 40, it goes to 44, and that spear will just carry you through the zone much quicker. Our stacked with a uh, demon potion, it goes to a crazy 18. Because as you can see, it goes to 52 damage. But if you really want to ramp up the damage to its very, very limit and get the best out of the items and stuff, and whilst being a sorcerer, then the damage you will be starting to rack up is. 20 which is a two hit kill standard without sneak attack this method won't be available as a sneak attack sadly because for you to do the spell it gives away your location therefore losing that element of surprise wooden spear is going to be your go-to weapon for nearly every single zone in the game forest of whisperers scratch that absolutely everything even flipping the mysterious stone kirkle sanctums odin every single map on the game why because it's a weapon that just lasts long and with skill and dedication you can overcome anything in frostborn with this weapon but if you really really want to take your spear damage to the next level then look no further than the protector's spear also known in the instigator set but you know just 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 take this baby and let's do this the protector's spear is enabling you to hit an enemy and get an instant shield this behind. weapon is ridiculous because it does do 165 damage on sneak and it's great for taking out really strong enemies on a usual it will take 55 and it will give you a force protection as you can see up in your defenses depending on what your defenses is what it changes to but it won't be much helpful if the monster itself doesn't do too much damage. So really you want to focus on using this type of weapon on the really strong. Okay. Okay. It's got a little bit longer than usual. Just get extra hits in. I think if you do a throw as well, you'll get more damage out of the throwing axe. Yeah, I was thinking about it now. Yeah, so here we go. So well, he'll do the move first. I'll do it here, and then that's the time to do it. Nah, it's still 50 damage. Yeah, that's a shame. So as you can see here, you can do this whole boss with a wooden spear with no problem. Naked, wearing a few clothes just to make it a bit quicker. Wearing clothes does increase the rate of the speed of doing this as well because you're able to hit it for longer while staying in the buff of the sorcerer thing to do extra damage. But of course, this does take a while because the spear, even though you've buffed yourself with several things, including the instigator helm, it gives you just about 20% damage, I believe, and then the another 10% increased damage from the boots. The chest armor and the LX only give you defense, so there's no use using it here. So with those two particular items, the most important weapons to combine with the wooden spear, you're going to get some crazy damage that allows you to speed up doing this to save you time 
and efficiency and still being cheap because you got to remember with this method we're doing right here we're not getting hit if we're not getting hit the helmet and the legs purple boots are not taking any damage so all you're doing is waiting for the special doing several spear attacks and then moving on and if you've got a pathfinder with you or a piercing dagger you can lower the defense and create more damage but more of that later if you want to greatly speed this up and you have a repair table you've got spare silver coins you can go ahead and equip your most of your team with protector spear and have the helmet again on and the boots to increase your damage to exponential levels to create some serious redonkulous damage that allows you to speed up your success of killing every single boss in the game with either protector spear or wooden spear nearly every single boss in the game can be defeated i'm thinking maybe the only one that's probably special is the final floor of odin's that's going to be an issue probably to do but probably some clever person is going to probably figure that out how to do that with just a wooden spear now in a pvp situation the wooden spear isn't great not really helpful if you're fighting a naked quilted Possibly with good teamwork, you know, create spells, you could probably pick it up. Wooden Spear is probably a backup weapon if you don't want to use up your weapons in a raid where nakeds are just spamming your base and you don't want to use your purple weapons. The Wooden Spear is your best friend. Uh, give yourself the right buffs, you'll still kill those nakeds pretty quickly. The speed of the Wooden Spear is quite great. But with the Protector Spear, here's the catch. Now, the Protector Spear is a pvp and not a pvp weapon at the same time the force protection yes it helps you defense against monsters but in a pvp situation it does work but in enclosed areas now what i mean by that is it's best if you're in your own raid base and you're defending and the enemies are focusing on that spot where they have to push you in that location for example raiding without pick locks if you're going through certain doors that means they have to hold those doors open so therefore in that situation a protector spears or full protection is going to be excellent again if you're a raid attacking another um, no if you're raid defending it's the same issue as well so that's the only way it's going to be helpful and then if you're going to use it as well you're going to use the protector spear to invoke the force protection and then switch to another weapon and then when that runs out then you're going to bring it back on you wouldn't spam use protector spears in pvp you would only do it for the extra bonus buff skill in a situation there's a really crazy situation if your teamwork was on point where you and the tank are on front lines and you had to hold them back whilst a healer did a heal bomb or something because they need cover or if they were switching class then obviously holding that position your protector will you know soak up damage and the full protection act as a little mine above to help you survive even more so so it's a very specific very weird situation it won't really be used in that type of situation to be honest but hey that's one way you could probably do it but i'd say overall pve is the way to go but it can be used as a pvp weapon so comparing it to the fastest weapon in the game the rusty dagger this clocks in at about 2.0 the higher the number the higher the speed for example the wooden spear i believe is only at the remarkable 1.3 with the protector spear being at the 0.9 that makes protector spear much slower than the wooden spear but it carries the damage to make up for that so as you can see the wooden spear isn't too bad at its current speed but then you can really feel the difference on the protector spear however there were two upsides on the protector spear one major thing is that it comes under the heavy class which means a berserker uh, protector class anyone that does heavy weapons in their class can use skills with this weapon therefore making it more effective and usable in different situations giving it more versatility however the wooden spear doesn't come under that category it comes under a normal standard category which basically any class can use no special requirements and just allows you to use it therefore giving it that extra speed to use so comparing it to one of the fastest weapons in the game rusty dagger it's not too bad still being stronger than the rusty dagger but since the rusty dagger is nearly two times fast almost two times as fast it ends up being maybe slightly better than the wooden spear so i hope that covers everything for you today and um you don't have any more questions if i have missed anything i will definitely 100 percent recalibrate remaster it and make this video ultimate so we don't miss any tips and tricks that we have um, talked about today and um that's it really and truly so this is king of china always trying it always giving you the royal tips to my royal subjects i hope you have 
a frostastic day. I'll see you in the next one.